Number five, equation of the plane passing through these three points. I've got a plane, I've got three points on it, so what I need to do is find two vectors lying on the plane, but I don't want the vector equation. It just says an equation, so I'll go for the Cartesian one. So I'll use the cross product of those to get the normal, and then any point in the plane at all to lock it in space. Right, so the first bit's going to be get two vectors. Say so we just start with P. So I'll get PQ, which will be Q minus P. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, take away negative 2, 1, negative 1. So that's going to be 3, 1, 4. And then I'll get PR, which will be R minus P, which will be 3, O, 1, minus negative 2, 1, negative 1. Which will then be 5, negative 1, 2. Then I'll get the cross product of them. I'll put this just over here to save some space. So now I'm going to work out PQ, well, I'll give it a name. I'm going to work out N, which will be the cross product of the two vectors, because the cross product will produce a vector at right angles to them both. At right angles to lines on the plane gives you a normal straight off the plane. So I'm going to work out 3, 1, 4, cross 5, negative 1, 2. Now I could put down the determinant thing, i, j, k, 3, 1, 4, 5, 1, negative 2, but the calculation is just the same as doing this. So I've got 2, main diagonal, 2 take away negative 4 is going to be 6. I've got reversing the middle one, because in your determinant the middle term would be negative of its minor. So reversing it, 20 take away 6 is 14. And for the bottom one, I'm going to have negative 3 minus 5, negative 8 for the normal. But I'll not use that. I'll use a linear multiple of it. So I'll just use 3, 7, negative 4. It would cancel down at the end if you didn't cancel down just now. So there it is. I've got the normal to the plane and I've got a choice of points. Pick the one, ah, I fancy that one there with the small numbers in it. So to get the equation of the plane, I'm just going to say that the normal times any point in the plane is going to be the same as the normal times any point in the plane. So I've got n, 3, 7, negative 4 times any point should produce 3, 7, negative 4 times any point. I'll use the 3, 0, 1. A, which means I've got scalar products. I didn't put those in. 3x plus 7y minus 4z is going to be 9 plus 0 minus 4. So my Cartesian equation, the plane is going to be 3x plus 7y minus 4z equals 5. I used point R to arrive at this. You just need to double check. If you put P in for x, y, z, do you still get 5? Do you put Q in for x, y, z, do you still get 5? And you do.